<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot second since I filmed a favorites video on my channel and I love making these videos because I love talking about things that I love. That's pretty much it for my intro. Just wanted to express the excitement. For starters, these sandals right here. These take the cake for number one favorite of all time. They are so comfortable. I purchased these from Nasty Gal, specifically the brand Jeffrey Campbell. It doesn't cut into your feet. It's super comfortable. There's a tiny little heel so you get a little bit of height in and they just make every single outfit so much cuter and a little bit more fancy but you're basically wearing slippers. Love them, geez. Couldn't express it anymore. Two cases I want to talk about, laptop and phone. I guess I'll start off with the phone. This case is from Casetify. This case specifically is just so cute and dorky in my opinion because it's like, it's my little man. Like it's got a little tux and it's very representative of my life right now because I'm so busy with so many different things going on that like the last thing that I'm thinking about is meeting a dude. This is like the closest thing to me having a man in my life right now, which is, which is my, my work, my work phone. The other case I want to show you guys is actually my laptop cover. So underneath it, it's actually a sticker and then I got a clear plastic case over. Yeah, oh, by the way, this video isn't sponsored by anyone. So this brand is called Unique Find and I am obsessed with them. Oh, sorry. I have been buying laptop covers from them for so long. You guys always ask about them, like the grid one, the black marble one. I have a blue marble one. Honestly, let me go bring it. In one of my newest videos, a lot of you guys are commenting about why I own two laptops and guys this laptop is like seven years old it literally only runs for like 30 minutes without a charger. The only reason that I still have it is because I like to use this to edit my vlog footage. It's literally the only thing that I can still do on this thing. And then this I just like travel with and do all my emails and whatever. So yeah, this is a piece of poo, okay? Like this should not be in my life anymore. But yeah, same brand, so much fun. You guys know I'm obsessed with marble. To <laughs> even more confirm that statement, my next favorite, also is marble all over. I, yes, I have three marble suitcases. This is the smallest one, it's a carry-on. These suitcases are from Kelpak. The company actually gifted me these suitcases. They are so beautiful, so thank you so much. And yeah, I took this one to London with me and it just makes traveling that much more exciting. And this literally has become a decor piece. Normally, it's right there. I'm gonna go put it right there and you guys are gonna be like, Whoa, yeah, that looks good. Keep it there. We've got one hair product, and I got this at Beautycon. It is a dry shampoo. It's the Paul Mitchell Express Dry, and it's a spray. By far, greatest spray dry shampoo I've ever tried. I feel like a lot of dry shampoos leave like a weird feeling in your roots or sometimes weigh them down. This stuff is super lightweight, and it also makes your hair lighter. Like, it, it gives it volume, and it feels actually clean, salon quality. This is the stuff. My next favorite is a makeup brush, which I feel like hasn't happened in so long. So this is an eye makeup brush from Real Techniques and it is in the number 200. For starters, I love the look of it. I love how sleek it looks. But the thing that I love most about it is the shape of it. I don't own an eye makeup brush this large. I've always been terrified of larger eyeshadow brushes, but man was I wrong because this is so great for just an everyday eye makeup brush. If you're just wanting to put on one color all over your lid, into the crease, blend it out, bam, done. I will often use this with bronzer. I'll just pop some bronzer onto my lid and kind of spread it out. Yeah, it's like a miracle one-step eyeshadow brush that just handles it all. Next up, we've got an eyeshadow palette. It's by the brand NARS and it is their Long Hot Summer palette. When I opened it, I was so excited because it has your classic taupey brown color for the crease and then it has like a shimmery version of that so you have a choice. You've also got a classic dark brown matte eyeshadow. My favorite part about this palette is the two bottom left shades. They're a little bit more pinker and orangey, so you've got those kind of more copper tone eyeshadows that are really fun to wear, and yeah, I'm just really obsessed with every single eyeshadow in this palette. It's very rare for me to actually use every single eyeshadow in one palette, but she did it. 
My next favorite is more so a category of products. Um, I've got two to show you guys, but I feel like all of them kind of do the same thing. It is cleansing water. I'm so happy that I discovered this type of product because I use this multiple times every single day. The two that I'm holding in my hand are the Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Water and then the Simple Skin Cleansing Water. I love to use these when I want to quickly give my face kind of a refreshing clean but not actually cleaning it. Often I will use these in the morning if I'm too lazy to actually deep clean my face because you deep clean your face at night, at least I do, and then you're sleeping in bed, you're not really going anywhere or you're not really exposing your face to any dirt, but you still wake up kind of feeling like you need to wash your face because your natural oils and maybe you're sweating whatever so this is a perfect kind of everyday morning product you just squirt some on a cotton round wipe it around your face and you're good to go also I love face masks and a lot of peel-off masks leave random little like residue and stuff and rather than having to like splash your face and like blah blah, blah you can just take a cotton round with this stuff wipe it right off comes off in a second so great. Forgot what else I put on my list. I put down kombucha. It's a drink. I feel like everyone drinks it out here. Literally, I took this out of my garbage and it's empty. There's no cap. Um, but I just like wanted to show you guys a bottle. This is the raspberry lemon flavor, if you guys are curious. Yeah, kombucha is awesome. It's naturally energizing, live probiotic, whatever that does to your body. I mean, it's on the front, so I'm sure it's like a good thing. It's really great. I like it and it's fizzy. So that's it for the material favorites. Now I'm going to talk about a few other things, music, TV shows, stuff like that. So for starters, TV shows, Unreal. That show is unreal. It's a scripted drama about what happens behind the scenes when filming a show like The Bachelor. They call it Everlasting on their specific TV show, but it's so cool because you see how the producers manipulate all the contestants and the women and the guy and you know you're seeing all the behind the scenes with the crew and the creators but still the drama within the girls and it's just it's insane it's so interesting to watch yeah there's two seasons available of that let's get to music Spotify you guys can follow my Spotify if you want a link is down below oh my gosh first favorite song of the month actually just came out not too long ago the great divide by Rebecca Black specifically Crash Cove remix guys What? Oh my god. So, so good. Rebecca showed us this song before it came out and we blasted it in our kitchen on the ceiling speakers and it was so good. We were all freaking out. And so now that it's out and everyone can hear it, it's so exciting because damn, that girl has been working so hard and I'm so excited to hear all of her other music. So Rebecca, if you're watching this, I'll be here waiting. Honestly, if you just go through my Summer 16 playlist, Pretty much everything is there. Running with the Wolves by Aurora. So good. We saw her live at Lollapalooza and she is just the cutest thing ever. She was exuding so much positive energy and it was so contagious and it put us all in this crazy, amazing mood. We were like front row. Let's see. XOXO by Cherub. Also danced to this at Lollapalooza and it was a very, very happy moment. It's just so good to bump into your car. If you guys want to see the rest, just stock this playlist. Yeah, I think that just about wraps up my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and comment down below if you guys want me to make more favorites videos because it's been a few months for me and I genuinely really like making these and just talking about a bunch of stuff. So yeah, if you guys want more, like this video and let me know. And of course, all of my links are in the description box and I will see you guys for a new video very soon. Bye.